Now she's waiting to put the bones I back in the pot. And let them cook with the collard greens. And let them cook with the collards again. <laughs> I've been around pig pickings and uh, food, you know, uh, all my life, and uh, I was creating a real uh, lot of trouble in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the ingredients, the flavors. Um, I like the southern part because of the traditions about how things are made and stuff. And we do oyster specials, things like oysters Rockefeller, things like that. And we get some really nice select oysters in, um, but for the most part we fry them and we steam them. What's the well, most store? famous for is uh, country sausage and uh, country smoked hams. And uh, country sausage is known probably worldwide. You know, we... Everybody used to make cakes, used to make two and three at the time. And I used to say, Mama, let me get your recipe, let me get your recipe. No, you can't get the recipe, can't get the recipe. And so, Fantastic. Mm. Mm. Very fresh. Very Different. <laughs> and my mama, she she didn't like daddy's molasses, so she ate the uh, grandma's. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother would usually have collards on the table about every other Sunday, and I had to eat a little bit of everything that was on the table, whether I liked it or not. Um, you know, but uh, no, I would say uh, overall. Eastern North Carolina probably is barbecue capital of the world, to be honest with you. Yeah. 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 Grandma got the meat smoking. This is what you call good eating, mate. All right. We'll see. Thank you. Bye-bye.